Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We oh, broke hello. strong together. I'm you know it's all because right on time today. Welcome and thanks for spending time with me today. My name's Libby Dyson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And I really do appreciate you spending your time. We're going to make a bit of an easy fancy fold card today using tea together and these gorgeous tea time framelit dies that you can get from the celebration catalogue. So, yeah, when you hop online, uh, let me know what, where you're from and what you've been up to. Um, it's a funny sort of day here today in Bonnells Bay. It's sort of a bit um, cloudy, but it's humid. Bob's gone fishing. Good morning, Wendy Allen. Good morning, Helen. Bob's gone fishing, uh, not to um, catch fish, apparently. Because you don't, it's called fishing, not catching. Isn't that right? Good morning, Julie. How are you? Good morning, Kay. How are you? So, yes, so he's gone fishing, so I'm home alone with the dog. <laughs> and the council have just been to pick up all their bulk waste. We had a bulk waste clean up this last week. And, um, it's amazing what people put out and then there's the hawkers who come around and you know collect things they might be able to use i saw two lovely little children who had one of those clam swimming pool things just half of one one-on-one -on -one. good morning words good morning karen one on one side of the clam one on the other side of the clam collecting toys from stuff that people have put out. I guess they're taking them home to fix. Anyway, so yes, so today we're using tea together and the tea time framelits that you can get when you spend $180 through celebration. So don't forget, all the products I use today are available in my online store and when you spend $90, you can choose one item from the Celebration catalog and there's new Celebration products available at the moment too. Um, sorry, I haven't printed that out. Um, I'll share that with you next week, perhaps. So that's about all the announcements I've got to um, share with you today. So I might just turn it around and we'll get started. So, everybody well, are they? I've got, I had some sad news during the week from one of my friends from where I used to live. Her cancer's back and the tumour count's really high. So, um, it's not looking good there. I've got another friend close by here who's dealing with lung cancer and a few other issues another friend dealing with dialysis so there's always somebody worse off I tell myself so you know all right so I'm going to flip the camera and we'll get started won't be a sec this is the tea together uh, stamp set that's in the occasions catalogue and the tea time frame that dies which are available through celebration so that's what we're using today in a bit of a fun fold card. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, but um, I, and I forgot to bring my big shot over tonight. So we'll um, organise that in a second. And I did go out to get it and I must have got on to doing something else. So I hope everyone's well. That's them in the flesh. All right, and here it is as a set with a lovely with lovely sentiments, and you can use it for uh, Mother's Day, but you don't have to. You can use it for other things. So, and these are the tea time framelit dies. 
and a suggestion of items you could buy to get to your $180 while I just get my big shot. I had a quick trip to Sydney during, well, after last week. Um, my daughter had a fall down the stairs at work and did the ligaments and sprained her ankle in her right leg which is her driving leg and needed help with the children. So I've been down there and then I came back and made all these cards furiously yesterday. Yeah, only to realise this morning I made them on the wrong suite. I should have been using this suite. So you've got nine cling stamps in this and you've got nine dies. So you know the dies will match the flowers and this flower and the leaves and this lovely flower so it is a beautiful set all right so that's what we're using today and the tea time frame it's a free when you spend $180 from the celebration brochure we're also going to use the uh, Time for Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. And if I can pull some out, this is the one we're using today. But it's gorgeous, just beautiful. Look at those lovely flowers. I fussy cut some of those to go on a scrapbook layer. So, all these beautiful papers. So we're going to use some of that today and that's still available, that's available from the annual catalogue. Um, so the um, tea set is a tea, the stamp set, I'll get my mouth working here in a minute, is available from the occasions catalogue and the tea time frame that's from the celebration catalogue. All right, so what I've done is I've cut a piece of card that is 21 centimetres by 9 centimetres or what will that be? Eight and a half, eight and a half inches by three and a quarter inches and I've scored and folded it in half. Then I've cut a piece of DSP which is eight and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres or four inches by three and a quarter inches. I have got all this written down. It's just I've got the fan on and it's sort of blowing bits here and there. And we're just going to adhere that to the front of this little piece of folded card. All right, now I have another piece of card, which is, um 14.9 14.9 by 10.5 but i have cut a tiny slither off the side so that when i glue it in here and close it you're not going to get a really bulky bit there so i'm just going to put some adhesive around here i'm hoping this is going to work this is sort of an idea in my head I've got this funny feeling I'm going to need a punch or something. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So that fits neatly on the bottom, just like that. And then you've got a card that's starting to look like that. Now, this is uh, tufted, dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. And it's... Um, 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres or five and a quarter by four inches. And I've just popped the top of that through the tufted um, folder with the big shot. And we're going to put that on there like that. I didn't do it very straight, did I? I was in a bit of a hurry this morning because I'd messed up. Sort of was bringing me geared up garage and then realised it was tea together. <laughs> oh, I love spending time with my grandchildren but I was so exhausted when I got home tired Miss Four gets up at 
6.30. I'm just going to pop one of my blocks on that to keep that down. There we go. All right, now, um, what's everybody up to this week? Anybody creating this week? I just need to have some coffee here. If I can get it off my coaster. I want some very vanilla. Just going to use a scrap, I think. A very vanilla card. See if that's big enough. For the teapot. I'm not going to put them all together this morning. Yes, I haven't used them yet. But I'm just going to use the teapot. I don't know whether you're supposed to take that bit out or not. I guess you can. All right. So, we might get all our stamping done first. So, that's going to be the teapot. It's not going to fit there, so I need another piece of card. That's all right. All right. All at sixes and sevens. That worked. I just use my acrylic blocks if I have uh, trouble seeing with things sticking down. I cleaned them all yesterday along with my tremor, which is, was in a dire strait of needing a clean. So, memento. Yeah, we'll try some memento. And I've got my stamp cleaner here. Just need to move a few things over. I'm going to use some basic grey in a minute. Oh, sorry, I'm such a muddle today. How's the volume? <laughs> I wasn't going to chuck it. I just took it out. I don't... What, what purpose do they serve, do you think, Wurge? Hello, Pat. How are you? The little bits in the middle, Wurge. Sorry your eyes aren't so good. I think sometimes we spend too much time in front of the screens. Does anybody know what purpose those little bits in the middle serve? that I didn't throw out. Look, here it is. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it out at all. You could um, could use it as a shape for, yeah, it does look like a plump kitty now that you say that word. <laughs> yeah, it does. What, what do you think those bits in the middle serve? What purpose? I don't, I don't know. Maybe you could ink it up with a color soft grey like um, smoky slate and have um, your own kitty different to the ones that Stampin' Up! supply alright so I'm not throwing the, the middle one out of the tea, teacup I'm just gonna if I can take the stuff off it get a block hi Rails how are you? Oh, I'm sorry you're at the doctor's so the middle doesn't Hit the ink pad and leave a blob. Oh, okay. I'm with you. So I shouldn't have taken it out. Is that the message? All right. I'm going to do the, the um, teapot in soft in basic grey. Not much difference, is there? Okay. And I'll put that one back. And I think I'll use. I'm not sure whether I'll use one of these flowers or not, so I won't do that just yet. We'll get the big shot out and die cut that. All right, how's the volume? Can you all hear me all right? Um, I think the rose might be a little large for the teacup, but I'm about to find out. So I'll get these framelits out that come free if you have a $180 order from celebration offering number one so the large flower would be too big for the teacup but I'm thinking the small flower might be all right but I'll just cut the teacup and the teapot out to start with and we'll see how we go all right Get blocks out of the way, get ink out of the way, put the card out of the way, bring in a big shot. Alright. Card stock left on here from yesterday. Alright, let's see if we can cut these together. 
had to um, put new ink in my printer this morning and fill it up with paper and when you're in a hurry everything sort of needs to be done doesn't it like there and then how's that looking I think we might about make that all right so my method is to put my hand on top until I've got my plates secured at the end roll it on through Hi Linda, how are you this morning? Gail, welcome and thanks for sharing. Don't forget to like my page and um, you'll get a notification of when I go live. And if you share, I'd really appreciate that. All right, get rid of the big shot. Rails, are you okay? I oh, know, we're just suffering with sore eyes today so she may not be able to stay with us all right what do you think what do you think about that placement yes no i might actually see these pretty little flowers or this one here did a bit of blending yesterday Should be able to see those next week <laughs> seeing as i messed up everything for this week so i've got my cards made ready for next week all right so i'm going to use the basic gray and then let it dry all right but i'm going to stamp it off and then stamp on so it's just a very pale impression of the flower almost like no line stamping but we've got a line um and then in with my blender pen and some old olive you could do this with colored pencils or stamp and blends but um just a light touch i'm just barely touching the card and that's why i can do it on the very vanilla because I'm hardly touching at all and then I'll just go back in and give the underside a bit more definition where the shadow might be. Alright, we'll go for crushed curry in the middle and we might try some, dare I say it, Calypso Coral for the flower just because I think if I use coastal cabana it'll all be a bit much don't you think thanks Wurge thank you Linda all right so if I start down the bottom here where the shadow would be and work my way in I think this is one of Wurge's favorite colors calypso coral would I be right Wurge and I crushed curry ears. I just want it to be quite subtle. All right, that, I think that's probably enough. You can't work um, very vanilla cardstock too much like you can if you're using watercolor paper or something. All right, so that'll do that. Put the lid back on. Okay, now some stamp and dimensionals for the back of the teapot. Now the teapot's going to go there. So I don't want to put any dimensionals up the top here because I don't want it to um, stick to the underside of the card that we've made. I used to have a little garbage bin I could put all these bits in and the fan wouldn't float, blow them away but it, I don't know what's happened to it. Disappeared in one of my many cleanups probably. Alright, so I'm going to stick that about there. Alright, now does the teacup, teacup need a flower too? I think it does, doesn't it? I think that one will fit on there. No, that one might be a bit big. So we'll go for... And we'll give them the same treatment. That 
and go like that I think cover me and pad up with dimensionals couldn't find it all right and then uh, I've got something else I want to do so I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on so it's just really quite a subtle basic grey and uh, back with the blender pen making all sorts of mess here sorry for gulping time for coffee all right so this part's going to be darkish down here so make the the bottom of the flower sort of dark and then blend up and you don't have to colour all of it. So don't feel that you have to fill up all the white space. Thanks for sharing, Margaret, and welcome today. Oh, you think my colouring's gorgeous? Oh, you should see it close up, Helen. <laughs> It's turning out better than I'd hoped today. Normally my colouring doesn't, um, leaves a lot to be desired. But anyway, it is turning out a little better than I'd hoped. All right, so there's, there's our, our teacup. Now I need you to decide there or there right or left let me know in the comments well i just grabbed some ribbon which is something else i forgot i had to get a new spill of very vanilla polka dot ribbon so right or left people left right to the right to the right my right <laughs> right <laughs> oh dear Okay, at least we're having a bit of a giggle. All right, so am I putting it here? Yes, I'll um, just put some dimensionals on it and you tell me yes or no. Is it going here? Yes. Thank you. How's Broken Hill today, Leslie? Had any rain yet? Those poor people in um, Queensland feel so sorry for them. A lot of them have lost their livelihoods or it's going to take years for them to rebuild their stock in Townsville. And uh, Stampin' Up! is um, going to do something. I'm not quite sure. I did read something but I haven't checked up what it is. So... All right, so about there. Okay, now I have got the crocheted lace, which could go through this handle or through this handle. Or I've got, anybody else have trouble finding the end? Got that bit done. All right, now I just need to find the end. Why is it always so hard? There we are. So I can use um, tulle polka dot ribbon or I can use the crocheted lace, which do you think? The dotty ribbon. This one's actually the very vanilla one, Wurch. You can get it in very vanilla and um, whisper white. So, all right, so which handle? The cup, do you think? So it'll show up a little bit better? I think I might do the cup handle. I'll just cut a point on the ribbon and then thread it through. And if you do it off the roll, you save yourself a bit of ribbon, she says. Okay, got it. All right, so if we do it through the T handle, might show up a little bit better. So this is the very vanilla polka dot tulle ribbon. It's just beautiful, beautiful to work with and it falls softly and neatly on your card. It's in the annual catalogue 
So the designer series paper is in the annual catalogue and got myself in a knot here. Um, the cardstock of course is in the annual catalogue and so are the ink pads and blender pens and if you combined all of what we've used today you would be close to I think $180 because the chill ribbon's about 16 I think um, ink pads blender pens designer series paper tufted dynamic impressions embossing folder try saying that without an upload of coffee and um, what else got dimensionals the stamp set not happy with this bow but anyway don't want to waste any more of your time today I think it needs to be a bit smaller all right so fiddle with the bow a bit later and then just cut cut it off the um, spool and you haven't got any wasted so I do need to fiddle with that now if you've shared I'm happy to send you one of my cards so PM me make sure you've written shared in the comments that's a bit better and um, PM me your name and address and I'm more than happy to send you one of my cards and you can be overseas or in Australia it doesn't matter it's a card I'm sending you all right so that's today's card and then you've got space in here to write on the inside and I think it looks really pretty on the outside do you think it needs anything else yeah you can hand dye the very vanilla too but the I've gone through I don't know how much white which I'm like you because it's good to dye the white with reinkers um, but do let it um, dry naturally don't try it with dry it with your heat gun let's not go there all right so we've used if I can close the the lid move the teapot over having all sorts of troubles today all right so there we go um, we've used tea together and I'm just fiddling with this teapot here you're right Werge I shouldn't have taken the kitty out of the middle and you know what Werge this is a kitty I can handle uh, I'm not allergic to this kitty I'm allergic to real kitties but not rubber ones all right so it goes there so we've used tea together and the tea tea time framelit dies which I'm just going to put back together before I lose them um, and we've used basic grey and memento plus for a blending pen and crushed curry calypso coral and old olive and we've used the tufted dynamic textured impressions embossing folder and the very vanilla polka dot tulle ribbon so that's what we've used today all right so that's it from me today thanks so much don't forget if you've shared and written shared <laughs> all about the kitty you know me and cats which um if you've written shared don't forget to pm me um leave just leave me a private message on my page here and i'll send you a card so i hope you like that as a bit of a fancy fold today so just a, a card front really and then half a card base with some DSP on it and then we've just done some water colouring and well some blending and yeah cut out our teacups so thanks so much for spending time with me today I really do appreciate it 
and um, all being well, I'll see you same time next week. All right, bye for now. And doing what we love. You can bet it doesn't matter where.